Hello, hello, hello. Hello, welcome families, friends of our graduates. A very warm welcome to Winthrop and congratulations to the Winthrop class of 2022. I am Kieran Gadjwani, one of the faculty deans of Winthrop House, uh, along with my husband Steve. Uh, we are so happy to welcome you live and in person to the Winthrop, ha Winthrop House Commencement Day Ceremony. You have been through so many ceremonies and celebrations over the fa past few days, but we like to think they saved the best for last. Steve and I are honored to co-host the ceremony with Mark Guerin and Mary Herlihy Guerin. Mark and Mary were the interim faculty deans of Winthrop in 2019-2020, when many of today's graduates were sophomores. Without a doubt, they have been instrumental. They have been an instrumental part of students' experiences in Winthrop. And we are so glad they are here with us today to celebrate this very, very special day. This commencement is special for so many reasons, and for us it is extra special as it's our first in-person commencement as Winthrop faculty deans. We are thrilled to celebrate this most special day with all of you. Uh, a few of us have some words and thoughts that we'd like to share with all the graduates um, before we call the graduates on stage, but first, please bear with me as I share a few organizational details. Graduates, we're gonna start the diploma ceremony in about 15 minutes. So in the next 15 minutes, please find your chair along the perimeter of the yard. They're, all mar they're in alphabetical order and they're marked with your name. So if you see your name on a chair, you found the right chair. If it's not your name, it's not the right chair. So please check it out. Um, line up and we'll be ready to go in about 15 minutes. Family, friends, all loved ones, when your beloved graduate is walking across the stage, one of you is welcome to come up to a mat here to take pictures. In the interest of crowd control and safety, please, just one person can come up to a mat right here at the bottom of the stairs, right in front of me, can come up to take pictures. Um, we will stand and wait for you to take your picture, and we ask that you kindly, after you've taken a picture, please, Please step aside and let the next family member, uh, beloved member, come through. This ceremony is being recorded, but it's not being live streamed. We will share a link to the ceremony with our graduates in a few days. Finally, uh, I do want to take a moment to thank the many, many people who have made all of this week possible, our whole wonderful year in Winthrop possible, and this ceremony possible. I can't even begin to name them all, but huge thanks to our house team, dining services team, res tutor team, building management team, house office team, the incredible, incredible people that make Winthrop what it is. Thank you all so, so much. With that, I would like to hand it over to Steve. Winthrop class of 2022, congratulations, you have graduated. We hope that you feel proud. Completing your college education is no small feat in the best of times. And your time at college was interrupted. Your campus life, but more significantly, your families, communities, your nations, and the world were upended by a global pandemic and continue to be so. Your time in college has also coincided with many other challenges that face us, including ongoing systemic racial and social injustice, wars and depression, environmental crises, and many, too many tragedies. We have seen how you are all affected in various ways, balancing your studies and your activities with the ways the pandemic has upended our lives, and with your concern for the world, your engagement and activism, your work for change, your voice. 
none of us get through these times alone. We know that behind each of our graduates stand many proud people. Family, friends, and communities have supported and nurtured you during these last four years, during these last 20-something years. We applaud those that are with us today and can share this joy. And we remember and honor those that are not here to celebrate this milestone. To the families and friends, And here in Winthrop, we hope you found another family, another community. This spring semester, our more than 400 students in Winthrop have gathered here from 34 countries and from 41 of our 50 states. And from this medley, this beautiful cacophony of experiences, perspectives, and ideas, we form one house, one community. You had opportunities to get to know each other in your entryway study breaks and brain breaks, at IMs and open houses, during the excitement and pride of housing day, on ice skating trips, museum outings, at movies, amazing hoko steins, darties, bouncy castles, formals, pumpkin carvings, and a whole lot more. And of course, in the dining hall, the beating heart of the house, where friendships are formed and fastened over food. We've heard from you how important, how meaningful it's been to have these interactions, to be part of this community. How, despite trepidation as sophomores or as members of new rooming groups, you connected with each other. You forged meaningful relationships. You learned from each other. We all grow stronger and wiser for sharing our differences, from learning about other people's experiences and passions. And seniors, you've gotten a lot of advice this week, but this is our charge to you. As you go out into the world, however and wherever it is that you want to make your mark, the causes you want to fight for, the passions you want to pursue, and for the future challenges that you will face, please remember the strength and growth that comes from finding people to support you, inspire you, and challenge you. Go find and build community. Build a little Winthrop wherever you are. It will require effort on your part, uh, much more so than during college, but we promise it will be worth it. Moreover, build a broad community, not a bubble. Seek, those, seek out those with other experiences and ideas. Be open to being challenged. We are stronger and wiser for sharing our differences. Go find and build a little Winthrop around you. The end of your college years marks the beginning of an exciting next phase of learning, growth, finding people, and forming new communities. Wherever this next phase takes you, we wish you the very, very best from the bottom of our hearts. And wherever this path takes you, please keep in touch. You are lions forever, and you are always welcome home here in Winthrop. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're now honored to hear from Mark Guerin and Mary Herlihy Guerin. Hello, everyone. What a glorious day it is as we gather here to celebrate your graduation from Harvard College. This is a day that you will think about throughout your life. There is so much love and pride here for all of you today. And Mark and I are so very grateful to have been invited by your faculty dean, Stephen Chong and Karen Kajwani to share in your graduation. And we feel very, very privileged to have had this second chance to do this. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you much, Stephen. And last night, of course, so lovely to meet so many members of your families. As Stephen referenced, along with everyone who is here in this courtyard, so happy today, I like to think and reflect about the many other family members and friends who are cheering you on from afar. Family, friends, teachers, neighbors, 
people who have watched and loved watching you grow, and of course, your mentors. And now it will be so good for all of us to see you and hear about the mentors you are continuing to be and will be in your futures. Just this week, I had the privilege of having lunch with one of your classmates, Anna Louisa Nikolai. And she told me about a mentoring program that I wasn't familiar with. It's, uh, the initials are CSESS, -S -S, College Students for Enrichment with Secondary Schools. And she told me how savvy Raghavan, she was also, had also done this from Winthrop. This program defines itself as something that would harness the knowledge and intellectual enthusiasm of undergraduates at Harvard, offering an opportunity to teach their favorite topics to students across New York, to promote the idea that a passion for learning is a gift that can and should be shared. And it, the goal is to expose students to interesting ideas and new ways of looking at the world. Anna explained to me how over the past several years, she, Savi, and other undergrads here prepared master plans during the fall and then would spend their J term teaching students in several schools in New York City. They did that virtually and they did that in person. This program is also supported by Harvard alumni. And it just made me think about what a great example this was of using and sharing the gifts of a Harvard education with, with children who can really benefit. And of course, this week we were reminded with the tragedies we've seen both in this country and around the world of the needs of so many children amongst us. So I would just leave you with the thought to continue being great mentors, do things like, like this program, like Anna and Savvy and so many of you have done. And I know you will make this world a better place. And I, we're grateful to have been, have shared this time with you. We wish you all the best. Much love always. Stephen and Karen, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. I just have a few brief reflections. Firstly, congratulations to the class of 2022 and to your families that are here. But 50 years from now, after what I hope is a life well lived, you will return to Winthrop House and to this courtyard for your 50th reunion. The question to reflect on now, and perhaps then, is what will matter most? 50 years from this day, with your newly minted Harvard College degrees in hand, what can and what will you say to yourself about the life you have lived? Mary and I have had the privilege of knowing you in these three extraordinary years, watching your commitment to making a difference, discussing your interests and passions in the D Hall, and observe the many varied ways you serve this house, this college and university, and the greater Cambridge community. From the homeless shelter, to Phillips Brooks House, or the Institute of Politics, from activism and for racial justice, to climate sanity, you engaged in challenging issues, and the most important ones of our time. And today, you now have what only 6% of the world has, a college degree. And you have the privilege, and I hope you feel the responsibility, of a Harvard degree. I know you don't need any reminders of the challenges the world faces with global threats to our democracy in the United States or in Ukraine, to domestic challenges we've seen with the challenges in Buffalo, New York, or Uvalde, Texas. So given all of that, and getting back to your 50th reunion, that nagging question remains, what will matter the most? Will it be the chase of status or the number of cars in your driveway? I doubt it. I suspect what will matter most when you return to this courtyard 
for your 50th reunion is that you can say to yourself with truth and conviction and authenticity that you made a difference, that you gave back in meaningful ways to your family, to your community, to your prof profession, that you led a life of consequence. That is my hope for you. And frankly, you are my hope for the world. For we need you in your chosen professions leading this consequential life. We need you researching, advocating, working on the challenges of these times. In his new book, Kennedy School professor David Gergen points out that you are never too old to lead or to serve. But the inverse is also true. You are never too young to lead or to serve. So get in the arena soon as physicians in finance and law and medicine, as policy mavens, and even as elected officials. I have no doubt that the future of the nation and this planet will be far better because of your generation. And finally, a bit about this special place, Winthrop House, that has been a part, an important part of our family and yours. As hard as it is to leave your friends in comfort of Winthrop House, to say goodbye to Stephen and Karen, the tutors, the extraordinary house staff here, a quick thought. When you get into your car for your ride home or to the airport, look at the rear view mirror near the passenger seat. It reads, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Well, as a graduate of Winthrop House, I can attest to you that that is the case for this special place. For Winthrop House will always be closer than it appears. Closer in the bonds of friendship, the memories of Steins and D-Hall conservation, conversations and masks and even Zoom. It will be as close as the next text or visit with a friend. It will be as close as the memories of those late night dorm conversations, rehearsals, games and events. Winthrop House will always be with you, for it is closer than it appears. So congratulations to the class of 22. Mary and I thank you for the gift of friendship and welcome that you extended to us. We look forward to rooting for you each and every step of your journey and have fun at your 50th reunion. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you so much, Mary. We now welcome Charlotte Rule and Nia Fernandez to the stage to share some words from our Winthrop class of 22. Hi everyone, I'm Nia Fernandez and I'm a program marshal for the class of 2022. Hi, I'm Charlotte Rule and I'm the Winthrop House Rep. <laughs> when thinking about who we wanted to speak today, we didn't want to shed light on one student voice or experience because the truth is, no one student can accurately capture just how amazing Winthrop is and has been to each of us over the last four years. And it is not just one student who makes Winthrop our home, 
but rather all of us collectively. We are Winthrop. Our stories, our pasts, our backgrounds, our hallway singles, our suites, our levels of volume on a Friday night. Sorry to the tutors. Winthrop has allowed us to create a community that not only welcomes us, but celebrates us individually. On Monday, at the Senior Toast, we decided to ask each of you, what makes Winthrop our home? And today, on behalf of the students, Charlotte and I would like to share those responses. Winthrop is home because of the impromptu dining hall conversations, the hellos from the staff, events in the barren rooftop common room, and late night hangouts and rehearsal sessions. Winthrop is home because of Mary Guerin walking around the house with homemade brownies on a tray. Winthrop is home because of blocking memories and learning and shenanigans, and oh, there were many. Winthrop is home because of chaos in the group me and breakdowns in the laundry rooms. Winthrop is home because of Memorial Drive on the weekends, walks to the river, chats with the building manager about hometowns. Winthrop is home because of people, people, people. Friends I came into Winthrop with, friends I made here while here, and friends I don't want to leave Winthrop without. Winthrop is home because of the memories I made here were not only exciting, wholesome, beautiful, hilarious, and especially comforting, but they will last a lifetime and they were made alongside some of the most kind, funny, spirited, and passionate people I have the honor of calling my peers and lifelong friends. Winthrop is home because of my roommates, my block mates, my pseudo block mates, my friends, the tutors, the house staff, the HUD staff, shout out to Goretti. Winthrop is home because I am gay and I am accepted and celebrated here. <laughs> Winthrop is home because this is the place where I can always appear as my full, unabashed self, singing at the top of my lungs in the hall, or running in from the rain and not caring if my eyeliner is dripping off my face. I can sit for an entire day and never get bored here. Winthrop gave me the honor of being part of glorious chaos. Winthrop is home because it is family. It is Mary Guerin, it is Mark Guerin, it is Steve, and it is Kieran. It is the respectfulness of all of our housemates. Winthrop is home because of the dramatic black and white pattern of the dining hall. The long days in the dining hall. The late nights together with my friends and roommates there. Winthrop is home because it houses my room, my safe haven. My roommates, HUDs, faculty, and everything in between. Winthrop is home because of the immensely talented students, the I am softball gods. I am's, bless their soul and bless Noah. Winthrop is home because of all the people who will walk across the stage with me today. Winthrop is home because it has been my safe space when times have been hard, as well as a haven full of happy memories. As someone who struggles with belonging in spaces, Winthrop gave me the chance to grow and feel included. I have so many fond memories in the spaces across Winthrop. Barron, Gore, Standish, the library, the courtyards. But as they say, home is where the heart is. For me, that has always been the amazing people I've met through this house. I found lifelong friends and also a lifelong partner. Thank you, Winthrop House, for being my home at Harvard. Winthrop is home because it's not just where I've found comfort, but it's also where my friends have come crying to when they've had a bad night. It's where my friends want to gather to recap an eventful Harvard Yale. It's where I want to go to study, to rest, and to call my family. Winthrop is home because of the late night tire swinging and falling out of the hammocks. Winthrop is home because of my entryway and the faces I get to see every day. As you can see, not just one experience has made Winthrop home. Winthrop goes beyond the walls you see in front of you today, and it extends into each of us. We want to thank the incredible faculty and staff for creating an environment that has allowed us to thrive. 
as the first class to have experienced this house, both in person and remotely, we should feel proud of the efforts we took to create the closeness we feel today as members of one house, one community, and one family. Let us not overlook the big moments of Winthrop Pride, like getting to rush the underclassmen dorms this year as our first official housing day. And let us not forget the small everyday moments, like filling up our cups at the drink station next to a familiar face. These are the moments that made each day here feel like home. While we do not get to go back to our dorms after tomorrow, do not forget that we are the community of Winthrop, and we can always find each other, help each other, support each other, and carry a piece of Winthrop spirit in every new path we choose to embark on. It is Winthrop love that has shaped us, and may it continue to shape our future selves. And lastly, we would like to end with this. Winthrop is home because of the grilled cheese with the egg over easy. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much, everybody. Amazing to hear all of your voices here. We are now ready to start the diploma ceremony. Graduates, if you have not yet found your seat, please do so. To do this, to start the ceremony, we welcome our interim Austin Burr resident dean, Kiran Gupta. For those of you paying attention, yes, there are two Winthrop deans named Kiran G. This has caused a lot of confusion and amusement over the past semester. Kiran Gupta bravely stepped into the resident dean role this spring semester while our beloved resident dean, Linda Chavers, was on leave. Kiran has been an incredible source of support and a constant advocate for our students, and we are so grateful for all that she has done. Thank you, Kiran. And although she isn't able to be here today, we also want to take a moment to thank Linda Chavers, who served as the resident dean of Winthrop for the last five years and has had a profound impact on the college careers of so many of our graduates here today. Thank you, Linda. And now we begin. Resident Dean Kiran Gupta. Thank you all so much for joining us here today. It's incredible not only to look out at our graduates, but also the villages and communities that made them into the people and the students that they are and that have brought so much light and brilliance to our university. As I call your name, please ascend the stage and cross, receive your diploma and your senior gift. Adia Adiakalbe in economics. Ashley Akizi in Art, Film, and Visual Studies and History and Literature. <laughs> Stephanie Alderiti in Psychology with the Secondary in Neuroscience, graduating cum laude in Field. Margaret Stone Ames in History and Literature and Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in field.
Radu Andre in physics and mathematics, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in field. Karina Asunse in neuroscience with a secondary in global health and health policy, graduating cum laude in field. Viarni Arman Atlason in human development and regenerative biology, graduating cum laude in field. Hannah Leora Barbash Taylor in history and science. Jordan Barkin in computer science and mathematics with a master of science in computer science. Clara Bates in social studies with a secondary in Russian studies and a language citation in Russian, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Harry Bautor in English, graduating cum laude. Shoshana Freed Boardman in History and Literature and Mathematics with a secondary in Language and Linguistic Theory, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Treasure Faith Brooks in Art, Film, and Visual Studies, graduating with highest honors in field. Jacob Lewis Brown in economics. <laughs> Peter Bynum in computer science with a secondary in statistics, graduating cum laude in field. Chung Letitia Chan in English with a secondary in economics, graduating cum laude in field. Thank you. Brendan Chappis in economics with a secondary in government, graduating cum laude in field. Caroline Katsuko Chappis in philosophy.
Cynthia Chang in East Asian Studies. Tomasz Chienkowski in Human Evolutionary Biology with a language citation in French, graduating summa cum laude in field. Charlotte Buckley Clark in Government with a Secondary in Economics. Sydney Makaya Cobb in History and Literature with a language citation in Spanish, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Victor Cruin in Economics. Ula Shania Donaher in History of Art and Architecture with a Secondary in Energy and Environment, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Fraser Darling in Engineering Sciences. Naomi Davey in Social Studies, graduating cum laude in Fields. <laughs> Alex DeBio Doherty in Applied Mathematics. Wooden Dijon Lewis in Environmental Science and Engineering. Jessica Natasha Diaz Jayasinghe in Government with a Secondary in Psychology. Fernando Ilmar Doctors in Economics. Okay. Rachel Eason in Economics. Noah Epstein in Computer Science with the Secondary in Earth and Planetary Sciences. <laughs> Wessel Lawrence Erasmus in Social Studies with a Secondary in General Philosophy.
Maddie Faber in theater, dance, and media in English with a secondary in folklore and mythology, graduating cum laude in field. Stella Rose Fetter in economics with a secondary in psychology, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Sophie Fella in psychology with a secondary in economics. Nia Maria Fernandez in psychology with a secondary in computer science, graduating cum laude in field. Lior Barak Fishman in computer science, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Jacob Asher Fortinsky in social studies. Kendrick N. Foster in history with a secondary in Spanish, graduating magna cum laude in field. Alexander Friedman in statistics with a secondary in classical civilizations, graduating summa cum laude in field. Nicholas Garcia Morillo in psychology. Zachary Gellis in physics and mathematics with a citation in Chinese, graduating summa cum laude in field. Ava Maureen Gilday in environmental science and public policy with a secondary in film and visual studies. Yeah. Ollie Gill in economics with a secondary in global health and health policy. Noah Gold in Anthropology and Theater, Dance, and Media, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> 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 
Kobe Green, Computer Science. Julie Ruth Hartman in history with a secondary in government graduating cum laude. James Herring in economics with a secondary in government. <laughs> Selena Hall Michelle in government and East Asian studies with a citation in Czech graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Katrina Han in neuroscience, graduating summa cum laude in field. Kevin Wang in Applied Mathematics with a secondary in Computer Science, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Katharina DJ Hyun in Applied Mathematics with a secondary in Government. Alexander Jacob Jaffe in economics with a citation in Spanish. <laughs> Franco Oli Gira in economics with a secondary in German and Scandinavian studies and a citation in German. Charlotte Johnstone in psychology with a secondary in history and a citation in Russian, graduating summa cum laude in field. <laughs> Brooke Jovanovich in economics with a secondary in history of art and architecture. Elaine Katz in Integrative Biology with a secondary in Mind, Brain, and Behavior, graduating summa cum laude in field. <laughs> Georgi Kent in Social Studies and Slavic Studies and Cultures, graduating cum laude in field.
Sahar Kashayar in physics with a secondary in computer science. Jun Young Kim in computer science with a secondary in history of art and architecture. Sabrina Hope Kim in psychology. Olga Kian in economics with a secondary in government and a citation in Russian. <laughs> Kyle Klink in government. Caroline Kramer in neuroscience with a citation in Spanish, graduating summa cum laude in field. Paul Kiechler in Mechanical Engineering with a Secondary in Economics, graduating cum laude in field. Anaga Kumar in History and Science with a Secondary in Neuroscience, graduating cum laude in field. Yash Kumbhat in English, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in field. Tito Yakual in computer science with a secondary in government. Cameron Landry in economics with a secondary in computer science. Jeannie Lauer in economics with a secondary in global health and health policy. So 
Iman Lavery in English with a secondary in Film and Visual Studies. Chloe Emma White Levine in English and Music with a secondary in Theater, Dance, and Media, graduating summa cum laude in Field. <laughs> Gavin Pascal Lefrere in Computer Science with a secondary in Economics. Emma Iman Lin in philosophy with a secondary in economics. Verena Lin in economics with a secondary in history of art and architecture, graduating cum laude in field. Jonah Lapel in economics with a secondary in English. Nikita Lido in Human Evolutionary Biology and Anthropology with a secondary in government, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in field. Kai Hin Lu in chemistry with a secondary in molecular and cellular biology, graduating magna cum laude in field. Yasmin Luthra in Applied Mathematics. Austin Madronich in Economics. Fariba Mahmoud in History and Literature and Classics with a secondary in Psychology and a citation in Spanish, graduating cum laude in field. Chelsea Marlborough in government with a secondary in global health and health policy.
Katie McLannan in theater, dance, and media with a secondary in economics. Mary McDermott in social studies. Jack Patrick McGowan in government. Michael Aaron Mado in neuroscience with a secondary in chemistry and a citation in Zulu. Martha Helena Merriam in Human Evolutionary Biology. Alberto Mosconi in physics and mathematics, graduating cum laude in field. Kyle Mueller in Human Developmental and Regenerative Biology, graduating cum laude. Sivabalan Muthu Palaniapan in mathematics with a secondary in molecular and cellular biology, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in field. Ana Luisa Nicole in Geography and Identity, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in field. Michaela Niambura in computer science with a secondary in psychology and a citation in Spanish. Jen Unsu O oh, in philosophy with a secondary in statistics. <laughs> Sung Min O oh, in applied mathematics, graduating cum laude in field.
Alexander Palladino in, in Earth and Planetary Sciences with a secondary in Integrative Biology. <laughs> Hannah Pierce in Psychology with a secondary in Mind, Brain, and Behavior. Jefferson Silva Pereira in Mathematics with a Secondary in Educational Studies. <laughs> Alfred Perez in Government. Hannah Nguyen Fan in Applied Mathematics with a Secondary in Neuroscience. Fabio Bruneri in Computer Science with a Secondary in Statistics, graduating cum laude in field and with a Master of Science in Computer Science. Justin Chi in Applied Mathematics with a Secondary in Government, graduating magna cum laude in field. <laughs> Savi Raghuvanshi in Computer Science with a Secondary in Mathematical Sciences. Catherine Rauner in History of Art and Architecture. Ilan Friedman in Applied Mathematics, graduating cum laude in field. Lonnie Roberts in Social Studies, graduating cum laude in field. <laughs> Destiny Renee Rochester in Human Evolutionary Biology with a secondary in Psychology, graduating cum laude in field. Charlotte Rule in Psychology with a Secondary in African American Studies. Harry Anton Sage in Music and Classics with a citation in Literary Chinese, graduating cum laude in field.
Chloe Alexandra Sirocco in psychology with a secondary in theater, dance, and media, and a citation in French. Emma Rose Schumer in history. Susanna Scochilas in computer science with a secondary in statistics, graduating cum laude in field and with a master of science in computer science. <laughs> Dmitry Ignatovich Solzhenitsyn in philosophy and mathematics with a secondary in classical civilizations, graduating cum laude in field. Jonathan Sott in economics. David Spitz in economics. <laughs> Johanna Staples Ager in integrative biology, graduating magna cum laude with highest honors in fields. Jacob Sykes in Applied Mathematics with a citation in French. Jovi Tan in computer science with a secondary in English graduating cum laude in field. Sheldon Kieran Tan in mathematics with a secondary in computer science, graduating magna cum laude in field. <laughs> Amelia Francis Tarrant in human evolutionary biology. Khalid Thomas in government with a secondary in classical civilizations.
Matthew Joseph Tyler in mathematics and chemistry and physics, graduating magna cum laude in field. Joao Pedro Vieira in neuroscience with a citation in Italian. <laughs> Raluca Vlad in mathematics and computer science, graduating magna cum laude in field. Lila Williams in Human Evolutionary Biology and Anthropology, graduating summa cum laude in field. Elizabeth Wu in psychology with a secondary in educational studies graduating cum laude in field. Rebecca Eve Shi in Applied Mathematics with the Secondary in Government, graduating cum laude in field. Kathy Ming Hao Sheng in Applied Mathematics. <laughs> Jenny Yao in Chemistry and Physics with a secondary in music graduating summa cum laude in field. Michael Yin in Applied Mathematics with a secondary in Computer Science, graduating summa cum laude in field with a Master of Arts in Statistics. Joseph Michael Anthony Young in government. Darren Zhao in computer science with a secondary in music and a citation in Chinese, graduating cum laude in field. Congratulations, Winthrop class of 2022.
Thank you all for a wonderful, touching, and warming ceremony. Again, congratulations to all our graduates, to echo the words of Mark. See you at the 50th, and likely before that. Well done, everyone. <laughs>